so here is video number two, um, starting with page three of the review that you sent me. Um, now, I did number three differently because I know it was worded incorrectly on the practice test, but it was the numbers one, two, three, four, so I used four uh, digits, and I know it said five, and you're using five, so we'll just go with that. So um, it's about the process anyway, and what you did was correct here. And so with 3B, they're asking you for um, the digits can be repeated. And so that's right. You would um, do 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's good. And then for C, if it's only even numbers, um, I see what you're doing there is you're, you're saying two-fifths of them are even numbers. And you took that times 625. Um, I don't think that that one, I don't think that that's going to work there. Um, what you have to do is, okay, let's say that we're making, um, if we have five digits, let's say we have the numbers one, two, three, four, and five. The way that we're going to get an even number is to end the number in a two or a four. So there are two possibilities here. And uh, if digits can be repeated, then we would have um, five possibilities for each of the other digits in our five-digit number. Um, sorry, we're making a four-digit number. Sorry, um, I'm getting confused between the, the questions again. So, all right, so if we're making a four-digit number, then we would have five digits to choose from for the first three, but this last one would have to be a two or a four to make it an even number all around. And so five times five times five is 125 times two. Hey, we got 250. <laughs> I'm not sure um, if that's the same as what you've got or if it just happened by accident. Um, that's kind of interesting. This is the way I would do it, just to be safe anyways, okay? Um, so the same thing's going to happen with D. If we have to have greater than 4,000, it means that we have to start with um, the 4 in the first digit. And then um, it says no repeat, so we only have 3 to choose from here, 2 to choose from here, and only one number left to choose from here. Unless you're using five digits, and then, uh, okay, so if you're using one, two, three, four, five, then we could start with a four or a five. So we would have two to choose from here. That would leave us with four for the next digit, and then three, and then two. And so that would be 16 times three, which is 48. Hey, your method is working. Okay. Interesting. Now, number four is all correct. You did everything correctly there. And number five, um, this one's right, and this one's right. And for 5C, they are asking, okay, so you have the right answer for 5C. I just don't know how you arrived at it because um, I can't see your work. And so I'm not sure how you did it. So I'm just going to go through the process for how you would do it to make sure that you did it that way and just to show you, okay? So if it was a red, um, is it a red or a 10? I don't have the practice test in front of me. I just have my notes. So um, for a red, it would be 26 out of 52. For a 10, there are 4 out of 52. And then we would have to subtract the two cards that are red and a 10. And that's how I arrived at the same answer that you have, which is 28 over 52. So hopefully that's how you did it too. I just wanted to go through that process with you. Here's the last page. And on the last page, um, you're doing fine. This is the one about the coin toss. And so that one's right. Now this one, I would just take the 0.125 because they're asking for the three on the three successive flips. And only one of those um, would meet the criteria. And this one is right as well. 
And then um, when we get to number two, we're looking at the surgeries. And that's correct. That's correct. He did great there. Um, now, for 3a, because they said greater than 8.5 and not greater than or equal to, I would actually, uh, I'm sorry, they said greater than 8, um, not greater than or equal to. I would use 8.5 for that um, to find your z-score. And then the next one is perfect. So it looks to me like you've got really good understanding and you're totally ready for the exam. If you have any other questions this weekend, then I'll be online most week, um, most of the weekend, so I will get back to you promptly. So just email me any questions that you have, okay?